In this tutorial on GarageBand for the iPhone or iPod Touch, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the keyboard and some of its features. Let's get started by adding the keyboard. This interface pops up, and here you can play the keys with your fingers. You can scroll up and down an octave by tapping on these buttons here. You can set the sustain on or off by tapping on this button here and dragging to the left or right. You can turn the arpeggiator on by tapping on this button here and then dragging it on or off. You can turn your scale on or off by tapping on this button here. As you see that changes the uh, look of the piano to where you can't hit whatever Note is not in the scale. I'm going to turn both those off. Um, to set the velocity sensitivity, you do this by accessing the track menu, which you do by tapping on the star in the top right corner here. And under the track menu, where it says velocity sensitivity, you have four different options here. You can set it on high, and when it's on high, if you tap really lightly, you'll get a quiet note. The harder you tap, the louder it gets. If you turn it off, every note that you hit will be at full volume. I kind of like a medium sensitivity, so I'm going to go ahead and set it to that. Okay, let's go ahead and record a track. That sounds pretty good. You have a number of different sounds available to you. To access them, tap on this downward arrow on the top left corner here. Tap on where it says Grand Piano. You have about five different menus here to choose from. Your keyboards, classics, basses, leads, pads, and effects. And each of these menus has multiple sub-menus within it that you can scroll between. Try the vintage lead to hear how that sounds. You can also some, alter some of the uh, parameters of these different instruments by tapping on this button here. If you find a certain setting that you really like, you can save that by going back to that menu. And tapping on this button says save in the top left corner here giving it a name. And then under the custom menu is where it'll be saved now. I think I'm just going to use a standard keyboard sound for this one. If you want to transpose your track up or down an octave, you can do this by tapping on the star in the top right corner here. Tapping on where it says transposition and where it says octaves and semitones. You can transpose it up and down an octave or a semitone. If you do a semitone though, it'll throw it off key from what your other tracks are in. Kind of like that. I'm going to use that. I'm going to go ahead and stop this and bring it back to the beginning. And that's going to end this tutorial on how to use a keyboard. Stay tuned for the next tutorial where I'm going to show you how to arrange your tracks.